how do you know to set up here? Like, cause we were talking about all the acorns back there. So if they're better than there, how, how, are, you, how are you knowing that they're coming this way versus in that way? Well, you give a shot. You know, I mean, basically what I do is I come in here and I, I either hunt it or I look at the sign and I move. You know, looking at the sign here, there's no rubs or anything this year. I mean, if you're looking close, you're going to see some of these trees are all scarred up from past years. But this year, there's no fresh rubs. So when you came in here in the fall, you wouldn't have seen rubs, right? Okay. And there's probably a reason for that is, is this year with the acorns, the acorns are down there. The deer were probably going like that, right? Yeah. And so when Mario came in here and set up, he did set up down further. And it ain't much. But if say I, say I ended up sitting here right. and I had the wind in my face, I would have saw or heard those deer go through over there. And the next sit, I'm moving. You know, it's it's a little bit of his guesswork, a little bit of his, uh, you know, you're not going to get everything right exactly the first time. You got to go in there and, and try it. And a lot of times too, uh, we come into an area here and we hunt something and we think we got it it down and the deer do something else but there's usually a pattern to it and if you move over you learn i mean you can't be afraid to fail you fail and you move you know try it again if you miss it the first night you're going back the next night if you can if you got the same absolutely wind yeah just hit it again yeah a lot of people mistake what i say about like that uh hunt a spot three times a year is as you should never go back in there again and i don't mean that i, I mean if you don't see anything don't keep hunting there and burn it up you know don't keep getting your scent in there if you're, you're on animals, stay on them until they're on to you. You know, if they don't come right past you, there's a good chance that they're not on to you. And the next day, they're probably still not on to you. But if you, if you hunted the same tree again, you know, eventually they're going to wander over and start smelling your scent in here and getting spooky and, you know, you know but right away, make the move as fast as you Moving can. Yeah, well, okay. How high are you getting a tree like this if you're worried about getting, you know, skyline? Uh, this tree here, I'd probably be at that crotch. I like crotches because they kind of blend you in. Uh, this one ain't got any crotches, but uh, I, I don't want to be in eyesight when they're looking straight out. I'd probably still be high and using that tree for background, but it's a little crooked. So I don't know how high I'd get. I'm probably only about 15 feet. That was a this tree I used. This one? No, the one with all those little stuff when I sat in the saddle. You got in that one? Yeah, with a saddle. Yeah, saddle. Oh, okay. There's an old tree that died. Did you prep, so you prep that tree at all? Or? We can't prep I'd, here. I'd go in there and I'd knock the the branches out enough to get a stand and shoot out of but I wouldn't pre-do it but you could sure. the trouble is I hunt so many spots I go and scout a spot like this and I might never end up there I haven't hunted in this spot right here for probably four years you know but I've got a million spots so this I, go ahead. I think most people that are, are, are doing what I'm doing if you're just starting out you probably don't have the number of spots I got and you're probably going to need to hunt a spot so you might want to prep it um, but I'm skipping around a lot I've been doing this for years and where were those beds tree. again? In um, all through here is all bedding. Straight where the trees end here. Just because it's the only tree here next to the bedding.